Therapy Thursdays. We are Physical Therapy and Balance Center um, on Louisiana Living. I'm Angela Yarborough, and this is Dr. Jerry Yarborough. Today, well, we are continuing our series on autoimmune diseases, and today we're going to talk about this long word, <laughs> ankylosing spondylosis. So, what? is that. <laughs> all right, all right. So before I get into the definition of that, I would just want to recap real quick about what autoimmune diseases are. And uh, again, I'm going to ask you to explain very basically to everyone, what is our immune system? It's just the system that God put into our bodies that keeps us well. That's right, that's right. So what autoimmune uh, diseases are caused from is that defense mechanism that God put within our bodies to protect us starts to attack us. Uh, it gets a little confused. Uh, so um, a lot of the, the common first signs of autoimmune disease you know, can be pain, spasms, headaches, fatigue, weakness, imbalance, all of those things uh, are, are a lot of those things are repetitious throughout all the different autoimmune diseases and there's actually over 80 different autoimmune diseases and, and they're discovering more and more all the time and each one even actually has spectrums within that so like last week we talked about rheumatoid arthritis and, and now this week we're talking about ankylosing spondylosis or spondylitis however you know it alright so what that is is it's uh, arthritis of the spine uh, more commonly. It can affect other parts of your body, but most commonly it's going to be of your spine. All right, so um, what happens, and it typically happens uh, in adolescent boys more than, than anything, that's when it starts, and they have a lot of stiffness and pain in their the lower back or their SI joints, which is where the sacrum, or, or you know, in the, the pelvis area. Uh, and so all that inflammation ends up causing deterioration and uh, it, it ends up where the vertebra or the bones of your spine actually fuse. So you end up having no mobility of your spine because of ankylosing spondylosis or itis. It is a progressive disease and like I said, it, it affects uh, adolescent boys up into manhood. Uh, way more than it affects women, but women can definitely have it also. It's very debilitating and can be very painful. Um, so come back in the next segment and we're going to talk a, a little bit more about what specifically therapy can do and what you can do to start trying to manage uh, the symptoms that you have with ankylosing spondylosis. All right, thank you.